Solar power, expensive or not. I've had a lot of questions about my solar. Uh, of course, it's winter time and uh, now, but I put this up here just about 10 years ago. And uh, actually, I had a different setup with some panels, but this here was has been up now for uh, quite a while. I've had solar for 10 years, but I got a good deal on some panels. And these are not 12 volt. These are actually 24 volt panels. They're 340 watts each. There's four of them. You don't need a lot of panels to put up a nice system that's not that expensive. You need more batteries. Put your money into batteries because you need the storage. Now these particular panels and set up because we live in the north where we do get lots of snow, as you can see, we have quite a bit here yet. Uh, I wanted to wait till this brackets were all out, but this is all adjustable. So in summertime, this is in winter position. In summertime, I have notches. So if I want to change it seven times through the summer, I can. But I don't, um, as the sun gets higher here, uh, once we're kind of away from the threat of snow covering them up, I'll drop it back a couple notches and after about three weeks I'll be dropping it all the way down to the bottom so it lays on the roof. Now I have approximately a 412 pitch on my roof so that's where it lays back. If you can get 15 degrees the sun is high in the sky here in uh, summertime so if you want the most direct uh, angle that the sun's going to hit the panels for the best power so very simple uh, you can build these yourself or you can buy them i don't have the papers handy so i can't tell you where i got these um, the the racking here though was was around uh, i think it was close to 700 dollars bolts right through the roof you can plate it on the inside they're adjustable so anywhere you have if you're if you are planning on putting them on your roof because you don't have space in your yard you want to get up a little higher put adjustable panels on if you live where you get snow uh, that may stay on the panels you have to have them so you can stand them up you know we're at we're at about oh i think i can't remember what we put this but it's 92 degrees or something like that like we're we're up pretty straight and uh yeah snow doesn't stay on them unless it's a absolutely wet wet snow with a little wind and uh not much stays on and uh the panels start to warm and the snow will all melt and it'll run off so i'll take you in and show you the wires run inside and we'll go in and explain a little bit uh, i have mentioned before these are 24 watt or volt panels, not watt. Um, and I actually run a 12 volt system. So let's get to that. So once we come inside with our power here, uh, I have the, the Midnight Classic charge controller. So this comes in the power from the panels comes into the charge controller and this is capable of 1100 watts so and i pretty much max it right out on good days so um it does it does have to work but uh so there's settings in there to change it if you want to run 24 volt 12 volt or maybe uh, you know kick it on and to pull your best power is actually running in a 40 a 48 volt system but uh so right now actually uh 41 43.1 volts coming in uh the batteries are pretty much full uh 13 7 we still got uh, 140 129 130 watts coming in but we're 13.7 volts now I am running gel batteries 
uh, they're 105 amp hour batteries so but from from the classic then you can run your power out to your batteries in 12 volt system I run all my batteries just like boosting one to another to another they start off positive positive and then it goes down here I've got them sacked in shells positive all the way through all the way through drops down got six more down here so 13 batteries um, now I'm running all of that with the grounds together in the back positives together in the front so that's a 12 volt system and you can tie as many batteries in a string as you want just remember that when you're pulling power from your batteries or putting power to your batteries, I was told, I mean, I did this myself, but with uh, quite a bit of research information, talking to the right people, my leads coming in to the battery from the charge controller, I have a ground that goes to one end of the string and the positive goes to the other end of the string. So you're not just tied straight on one battery because you'll only be able to pull so much power and the other batteries have to try and compensate and, and work that way. This way you're power, pulling power more equally. Um, I have a, a battery charger here, 30 amp charger that I have plugged in and I have a plug here that's power in from my generator. So anytime I start my generator to use anything, it automatically kicks on and, and runs that way. So now pulling the power from the batteries, I'm going to make 120 out of it and send it through the house. I just bought a cheap 3000 watt inverter. And this type of inver inverter is not really, you know, tying together and and uh, hooking into breaker boxes or whatever. More for cabins. And it has three outlets on the front. And then I go to a power bar. <coughs> All of my wiring coming from plug-ins, lights, are marked what they're for, what room they're for. So I can get this hooked up and get it into a uh, um, panel box and then I have I know exactly uh, which cables go where just to simplify so yeah two power bars and uh, you're just running your leads in and I'm only running a couple of plugs on each one of these or lights um, so plug in end and on it goes so now my water system here it has a 12 volt pump so i'm not running through my inverter making power it takes power to make power so i'm just running straight out with clips i have a couple of different uh, uh lights in the house that just run and uh just put your clips on run them straight 12 volt i pull off of a different battery with each one of them and it's a very simple system to hook up um yeah i'm takes me a lot of uh looking into things to be able to make it all work and asking a lot of questions but that's what we have so 13 batteries as you can see um charge controller says 13 7 and uh inverter actually says there oh it uh, blinks back and forth so yeah uh, there's nothing in the house other than my wi-fi as you can see right there 10 watts is what it takes to run your wi-fi so powering that system so i have wi-fi in the house uh, like say i have water pump uh, uh i have a full-size fridge deep freezes that kind of stuff and we'll be doing a little tour of the house soon here and 
you will be able to see everything I have here. Um, and this, I did start off with just four batteries and I could still use uh, this inverter, you know, but with 24 watt panels, remember you have to have a charge controller and it has to be set so that it's down to 12 volt whatever system you're hooking up if you want 24 volt change it there's settings on um, do your homework read your read your pamphlets and if you're still unsure then ask somebody that knows a little more about uh, solar power so pretty pretty basic uh, simple system uh, if I need the generator, I do have to go outside and start it. It's a small generator, but then I can just take this plug from here, plug it in here, and I can tie the other the other uh, power bar into that one, and everything in the house then would be running on uh, on the generator. I mean, you have to make the switch, so it does take a minute. If you don't have time to do those kind of things, then you probably shouldn't be living off-grid. So there's, uh, you know, things you can do um, that don't cost a lot. If you have extra money and you want to go off grid, then there's a lot of things you can do and have them all remote, and and that's that's awesome, works. But this way I uh, hooked my system up, and very simple, like I showed you just in a few minutes. It's just making sure your positives are tied together, your negatives are tied together. Time into your charge controller, taken from uh, into the inverter, from the batteries to the inverter. Now it looks like I have a lot of cables here, but this inverter is set up so that you have actually two positive leads and two negative leads that you can run and tie into the back of the inverter. And same, they go off. Uh, this one's tied in on that set of batteries and the other one is tied in on a different set of batteries so I'm pulling off two different sets and uh, run my ground to one end you know this one I got a ground going to this side the other positive goes over to this battery so very very good setup and uh, works good for me so, I hope you enjoyed uh, what little bit, what little bit uh, knowledge I can give you for that is just, you know, it's very simple. Started off, I needed to run a water pump. I had a water supply here. I needed to run a water pump and that kind of stuff. And I needed a little power for that. And your life just changes when you have running water and uh, you're still living off grid. So... We'll show you the, the bathroom setup, kitchen setup, all that kind of stuff in the tour of the house here in a few days. <clears throat> so the, the fridge just kicked in. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but the fridge just kicked in. Uh, so just showing you, now I can show you here. Here, uh, the fridge uses uh, 120 watts, and then I got the Wi Fi and I got the TV on. TV doesn't use much, but between TV and Wi Fi and stuff all together, it's using uh, about 35 watts. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, so, as soon as the fridge kicks in, it's showing 150, but 110 or 100 of that is, uh, or just over 100 is your usage for the fridge. It's uh, an 18 cubic foot fridge, so um, yeah, I run, uh, does, does what I need. Gives me lots of space. Um, and you just hear the fan, of course, when it's using that much, like I said, uh, to make power, it takes power, power creates heat, so they got a fan running here. And when there's a lot of power coming in, you actually get heat coming off of your uh, charge controller. So, yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, I just, uh, uh, for uh, what works, works for me and, you know, it gives me uh, everything that I need for power, power, uh, powers my whole house. So, um, like I said, I have a couple of 12 volt lights. Uh, so, you know, if something should happen, something else stops working or whatever, um, you know, I have uh, one light here, pull the string, it's on, pull the string, it's off. That light actually runs on 12 volts, so if something goes wrong with the inverter or whatever reason in the dark, and I mean uh, <laughs> in the winter months, uh, we have more dark than we have light, so uh, nice to have a couple of things just set up so that you still have lights and, and uh, still have water. Uh, no matter if the inverter goes down, I still have water. Um, so yeah, just little things that you have to think of when you're hooking up a system, um, you know, what do you need or what do you want? You know, if you want everything you can possibly have, maybe you have to put in a little more than I have. Um, but I do use power tools, different times, stuff like that. With what I have, runs me uh, pretty, pretty good uh, in cloudy, as long as I get four or five hours of sunshine I never have to use a generator. If it's stormy for two, three days, then, then I have to use a generator. I'll just use it at night and then shut it off during the day when we do get some light uh, with the panels being up. And, uh, you know, they're, they stand straight enough up. You get a little, little bit of reflection. Some people say you get power from the moonlight and I can tell you they're wrong. I've looked at my inverter uh, full on, full moon, whatever, charge control will tell you and there's not even, you know, it's going to register 10 watts if there's 10 watts and there's not. The other thing to keep in mind, talking about solar panels and stuff, these solar panels, they can advertise what they want. If you, if you buy a 100 watt solar panel, you will not get 100 watts out of that solar panel, don't matter what condition it's in. Um, they, they test them in their best conditions and uh you know they say that they can they can get that much uh at the peak you know my 340 watt panels uh, i've only ever seen 1100 watts or 1120 watts uh, if you do the math you you know you're only getting uh around 300 watts out of each of those panels and that's all uh, most of them are only about 90 percent of what they actually say they're good for so you have to base your system on that. It's, it's plain facts when you hook it up, it's facts. So yeah, I've hooked up different panels and every panel from 100 watt panels to 340 watt panels that I've hooked up uh, do not give you what they say they are in, in the best conditions. So don't be fooled, do your homework, talk to the right people. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful uh, to those that uh, haven't got a system set up or if you're looking at just upgrading your system a little bit, but you can start with three or four batteries, uh, a small inverter like this one, and uh, basically you're just running extension cords, and uh, but you can have the power you need for your lights and your TV and all that stuff uh, by just doing that. So very simple. Well, thanks for watching and hope you got a little bit of knowledge of it. Ciao for now.